It's Angie with News OK. I'm here at the Fred Jones Jr. Museum of Art in Norman, Oklahoma. Now they have a brand new exhibit. It is a contemporary and modern art exhibit. And I'm here with the curator of the museum who can tell us a little bit about this. This is very interesting. You have some nice pieces here. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, this is our uh, recently installed modern and contemporary gallery. Uh, it makes its reappearance at the museum for the first time in about two years. Very nice. And so these are part of your permanent collection? Most of the work that you see in this gallery is part of our permanent collection. We have a few pieces that are on loan uh, by artists and by collectors that have helped to uh, expand the focus of the exhibition. But yeah, the, the majority of what you see here is our permanent collection. To begin with some of the loans, we have some really interesting loans. Uh, one of the most notable is a loan from the artist Ed Ruscha, a former Oklahoman who in the 1960s drove out to Los Angeles and made his career out there. He's now one of the most important contemporary artists in the United States. Uh, the piece also is very sort of related to Oklahoma. It's called No Man's Land uh, and it was a sort of reflection of Ruscha's time in Oklahoma and his lack of knowledge of what lay beyond this, the uh, boundaries of the state. Behind us we have a recent gift, uh, the Lotus series. It was the last print series completed by Robert Rauschenberg before his death in 2008 and we were recently given the entire series as a gift uh, by Mrs. Mary Spencer. We've got a lot of sculpture on view. Uh, a lot of it I think is, is really interesting. It ranges from works by Robert Rauschenberg, for instance his Tibetan Garden Song, which is directly behind us. Uh, we have ceramics, we have mixed media pieces. Uh, I think some of the more interesting pieces, at least from my, my perspective, uh, come from uh, conceptual artists. So the museum obviously is uh, on the University of Oklahoma's um, campus and it is a wonderful museum. There is a lot to it, more than just what we see right here. Tell us about the museum. Well the museum has a diverse collection that dates primarily from the 19th and 20th centuries. Uh, I think one of the most notable parts of, of our permanent installation is the Weizenhofer collection of Impressionist and Post-Impressionist art. But we have a lot of work uh, by American artists by Native American artists and I think it really allows uh, viewers to get a really interesting perspective uh, on art of the last two centuries. Very nice. Yeah, it's a beautiful museum. Very unique. I love just the building. It's it, very interesting how it's laid out. Yeah, no, the, the current building that we are in is is designed by Hugh Newell Jacobson. Uh, he is an architect from Washington, D.C., and it is a very distinctive structure. Uh, it is connected to the 1971 building, which has just undergone a recent renovation. Uh, that's where the permanent collection will be reinstalled. Three floors, three galleries uh, that will focus on uh, changing exhibitions, uh, Art of the American West, Native American art, photography, and that all happens in October. It is a beautiful museum. If people want more information, you know, museum hours, tickets, all of that, what's your website? Our website is www.ou.edu slash fjjma. Wonderful, wonderful museum. Obviously a lot to see in a very interesting space. Thank you so much. Thank you.